Congratulations on signing the new contract, Jason. It must have been a very proud moment for you. Uh, yeah, it was. It was a really good moment. Um, obviously, at the start of the year, I knew um, that I was out of contract at the end of the season, but I was pleased with my progress at that time, and I think I've done really well this season so far. And uh, yeah, it's great just to put pen to paper now. And how much of a boost is it for a young player like yourself to know that Southampton have put so much faith in you? Uh, yeah, it is, it's, uh, it's a really good thing. And um, obviously I've been with the club since I was seven years old. So it really shows that um, I'm at the right place and I'm getting the right opportunities, as you've seen this season with me, and I couldn't be happier. And like you mentioned, you've been with the club since you were seven years old. You must have a pretty strong uh, emotional attachment to the club. I do. Um, it's, uh, it's at a point now where everyone I see around the club and stuff, uh, I mean, uh, Jill, for example, in security, I've known her since I was seven years old and she's still here. And so you, you create great relationships in that time. And yeah, it's a cosy thing to have. And you're a local lad as well. How, how much does it mean to be playing for the, the club, your city, if you like? It's massive. Um, obviously, I'm just I'm from Tottenham locally, and uh, I was born here. And my family are all big Saints fans, as well documented. And um, it's yeah, it's, it's a massive feeling. And that when I made my debut, it was a really special moment, and um, I'll never forget that moment. And I just want to kick on from there. And with that in mind, you've been handed the captain's armband for the under 21s this season. How are you enjoying that responsibility? Um, I think it's something that really adds to my game. Um, so it was a very kind thing for Martin to do at the start of the season and offer me that and I welcomed it with open arms. I love um, having responsibility and um, I feel like it improves my game more and um, I think no matter where I go in my career and hopefully one day the target is to be captain in this great club so that's the ambition so why not? Why not exactly but how would you, how would you describe your leadership style on the pitch and off the pitch as well? Um, I think uh, I've learned a lot this year about myself as a leader. Um, maybe at the start of the season I could come across sometimes, if I'm looking at myself, um, as maybe sometimes too aggressive, sometimes uh, a little bit intimidating. But I mean, I'm young, I'm learning, and I think as the season's gone on, I've become more of a calmer influence in the dressing room. And you've got to get a match between the both, and um, I'm working on that. And I like to think I'm improving in that area as well. And you're at a club which has got a long history of producing uh, homegrown young players like yourself. Uh, you must feel like you're in the perfect environment to, to progress as a player and a person. I am, yeah. Um, it's, it's surreal seeing it. Uh, the youngsters are around me and um, people don't know. We've got others coming through as well and it's great to see. I mean, the amount of debuts this year I think is the most ever recorded in a season. It's brilliant and it's great that um, the coach is showing the faith in the youngsters and our hard work's paying off. I mean, a great example for all of us is James Ward Prowse, I think. I mean, I've always looked up to him since I was a, since I was a nipper. And uh, when I was seven years old, like I said, coming into the club, he was always a year older than me. And uh, he's always had a great attitude and a great, um, a great way around the club. And that's just something I, I look up to him and something I want to emulate. And you've, you have come through the ranks with the likes of, of James Ward-Prowse and Matt Target as well. Uh, it must be nice now that you're all knocking on the door and, and been very involved in first team matters. Yeah, it's great. Um, I knew, I've known Matt since I was five, six years old. So um, it's great to see him doing well and he deserves it. He works hard and um, he's, got, he's got great talent. And um, like, like I said earlier, there's more of us coming through as well. And I think that's, that's showing the hard work that us lot are putting in the 21s is being seen by the coach and being rewarded. Is it good to have sort of uh, role models like that, if you like, people who, who've, who are doing the same things that you want to do and I suppose people that you're, you're close to as well? Yeah, it is. And it makes you feel like the dream's realistic. It makes you feel like when you see them doing it and um, you think, of course, you think they're a great talent, but you've played with these players and you know what they're about. And it makes you think, well, it's not a million miles away. You keep working hard and the opportunity will come. You made your first team debut over Christmas period at, um, at Selhurst Park. It must have been a very nice belated Christmas present for you. <laughs> it was. Um, yeah, it was. You couldn't have really read it better. And it was the first time, um, people might not, not, might not know this, but it was the first time um, all of my family came to watch um, the game. So it just felt like it was maybe meant to be or written in the stars or however you want to put it. But it was a great feeling. And like I said, it's something I'll never forget. What was it like having your family there to to watch you on such a such a special moment as well? Uh, it was a great feeling. Um, I remember at the end of the game, I was looking for them, but obviously the Saints fans were going nuts at that point, so I couldn't really pick them out. But um, they were meant to actually originally go to the theatre after the game, 
I'm in London, but they sacked that off and they come and came home and saw me, which was a, a nice touch. But no, it was brilliant. Great stuff. And you, you've been you've been testing yourself, of course, in training. You, you're on the bench for the first team this week, as, as recently as that. Um, playing against those, playing with those players, sorry, and training with them that, that can only help improve your own game, can't it? Oh, massively. Um, I think uh, I've trained a lot with the first team this season. And obviously, I've had quite a lot of time with them, and I've learned so much off of uh, the club captain, Jose Fonte. Like I said earlier about my leadership qualities, I've noticed how he is in the dressing room before games and things like that. And it's given me bits to my game and also another Toby um, is a great player and obviously we've only got him alone at the moment just to, just to see how he's performing and things like that and how he plays and how composed he is on the ball is it's really helped me and uh, all the lads are really great with that as well and also all the coaching staff from uh, the 21s with Martin and Raddy and even Anthony and the first team staff as well with all of them they all help me out massively and they give me great tips and like I said, it's a great club to be at and they make you feel welcome every day and all I want to do is just keep learning and push on from it. Just just how big an influence are the likes of Toby and Jose on, on your development, especially as a centre-half? And I suppose you've got Ruddy in there as well on the, on the coaching staff who is another centre-back. Massively. I mean, um, I'm quite aware that as a 19-year-old centre-back, third in the Premier League, it's going to take a bit of time and I'm aware of that. But in the meantime, it's so good learning off these players and uh, Jose's an experienced player, he's been here for quite a long time now and he's been all the way from League One up to the Premier League and sometimes that's the route for centre-back. So I've looked at the way he plays and um, how reliable he is and he's f probably first name on the team sheet in my opinion this season and I've just looked at the way he plays like I said and he's got great qualities and if I can use what he does and put that into my game then that will help. Obviously, signing the contract must have been a fantastic moment for yourself. Um, in a way, though, does does the hard work start now? Definitely. I think it doesn't stop. I think um, I've been working out, working really hard uh, for all of this season. And uh, ever since I was a nipper, I think that's just, that's just the way I roll. <laughs> I always work hard and that will always be part of my game. But I think it's about thinking now and learning how to play on the pitch and training and picking up tips, like I said, from the older boys and just keep progressing really and keep trying to uh, make my game better. And finally, Jason, what, what would you say your aims in the short term and in the long term? Of course, you've been tied down now for a number of years. You've got a lot of time to progress. What, what do you want to achieve? Um, I would like to get, uh, ideally, I know it's hard, um, as, like I said, as a 19-year-old centre-back, but if I'm doing well, hopefully some more minutes in the first team. Um, and just earn my trust with the coach um, and uh, when I'm playing for the 21s, keep standing out and keep improving and uh, like I said, just keep improving my game.